as you make your way onto the mat, we are going to begin in child's pose this morning. So big toes together, your knees go out as wide as your mat, if it's possible. And then you'll slowly begin to extend and crawl your fingertips towards the top of your mat. If for any reason your shoulders are really tight, then I encourage you to bend those elbows and either stack palm on top of palm or fist on top of fist so that you can rest your head on the stack palms or stack fists. But if you're okay this morning, extend your fingertips actively towards the top of the mat. Without forcing your hips towards your heels, begin to send the weight of the body back and bow your chest down to comfort. As you release the head down on the mat or your stacked palms, take a full breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, open mouth side, let that breath go. Two more just like that. Inhale through the nose and the low belly will expand. And as you exhale, open mouth side, release and let that breath go. Last big cleansing breath in, draw the breath in fuller than you normally would. Maybe sip in just a tiny bit more as you get to the peak. And then exhale, open mouth, sigh, release, and let it all go. Go ahead and take your tongue, lick the lips, seal them to one another, and begin breathing in and out of your nose. As you begin breathing in and out of the nose, you'll constrict the back of the throat and you'll drag that breath back and forth. This is known as our victorious breath our ujjayi pranayama, and some people also know it as oshnik breath. So whichever you choose to call it, just enjoy the sound. Allow this breath to put your mind at ease, to build that warmth within on this chilly morning. Begin to tune in to your body, scanning perhaps from the fingers down to the tips of the toes and working your way in the opposite direction. Maybe even add a little bit of movement if your body feels like it still hasn't settled yet. But once you feel settled, find stillness wherever you are. As you create this oceanic breath, it's audible at least to yourself, but you can absolutely make it louder if necessary. Begin to reflect on an intention you'd like to work towards a dedication for your practice if you prefer, or perhaps that affirmation. Your affirmation can be who you choose to be, where you choose to go, or how you choose to feel. Perhaps it's something you need to let go. Maybe you're experiencing fear, doubts, and grief, and so allow yourself that vulnerability to release, to trust. Whatever you decide for this intention, as you draw the breath in, you'll allow the belly to expand. And as you exhale, you'll open mouth side, let that breath go, drop the heart a little closer towards the earth. As you take your next breath in, press those palms into the mat, so extend them if they're bent. And lift your chest up a few inches off the mat. As you exhale, walk your hands towards that top right corner of the room. Stack that left hand on top of your right palm. And as you exhale, bow your heart down. As you bow your heart down, you're relaxing that left shoulder away from your ear. You're sending this left tip towards that back left corner. And you allow your ears and your biceps to align along the same plane. Take a full breath in here. And as you exhale, feel yourself relaxing towards that back left corner. One more inhale here. And that exhale here. Inhale, walk your hands back towards center. And as you exhale, take your palms over towards that top left corner. Right palm on top of the left. Drop the body down. Draw the breath in here, reaching through the crown of the head as the shoulders shrug back. And as you exhale, sending the hips towards this back right corner. Two more inhales here. Draw your breath in fully. Engage your pelvic floor muscle or that perineum muscle. Let that breath go when you're ready. You've got one more. Navel is engaged as well towards the spine as you breathe in. And as you exhale, you release that breath, sinking your body closer towards that right side. As you take your next inhale, rise up, walking your hands back towards center. And as you exhale, melt your heart once more into this child's pose. On your next inhale, we'll slowly begin to lift and rise up, working our hands closer towards our body, bringing our knees back into alignment. Begin to wiggle your hips from the right side of the room to the left side of the room. Maybe let your head swing side to side as well. 
Breathe in through the nose, breathe out of the nose if possible, constricting the back of the throat. Come back to center as you return to center. Tuck your toes under, send the weight of the body back for releasing or strengthening or stretching the bottom of our feet. A full breath in here, the belly can lift up. And as we exhale, you can roll your little toes out towards the edges of the mat. On your inhale, you'll roll your toes back in. On your exhale, you'll send them back out. You've got one more round. Inhale, we roll them in. Breath in. And exhale, we roll those little toes out. On our next inhale, we'll work our hips forward as we send the weight of the body towards the top. Releasing your feet off the mat. Lift those feet, circles with your ankles in each direction. Place the tops of your feet onto the mat, lifting that left wrist off the earth. You'll create a few circles with that wrist in one direction and then the opposite. And then the back of the hand goes onto the mat. So your fingers are towards your kneecap and your thumb is towards this right side. As you exhale, shift the weight of your body back and maybe counterclockwise a little circle to release the wrist furthermore. Or if not, just stay still. Switch that direction now, clockwise now. You're breathing in fully, never constrict the breath. And then find center. As you find center, release, lift that palm off the mat, a couple of circles. And now you're gonna flip the palm so that the thumb points out towards the left edge and your fingers towards your kneecap. A soft bend of the elbow and exhale, we'll send the hips back. Breath in through the nose here. Breath out of the nose here. Two more, breathe in and breathe out. And last one, a breath in, and you'll release that breath. When you're ready, send the weight forward. Let go of the palm, circles in each direction, and then place that left palm down. Right one now, right palm goes off the mat. Circles, back of the hand closer to the knee, thumb to that left edge, fingers towards your knee. You'll exhale to send the weight of the body back and take just a couple of circles counterclockwise, and then take a couple of circles clockwise. And then return back to center, shift the weight forward, release that palm, circles with your wrist in each direction. And now flip your thumb out to point towards the right side. Exhale, send the weight of the body back, soft bend of the elbow and either movement or stillness. Breathe in through your nose here, breathe out of the nose. Inhaling through the nose, belly expands, shoulders relax and exhale to let go. Last breath here. And breath out. When you're ready, slide forward, lift that palm, a couple of circles in each direction, and then place those palms down onto the mat. Pull your shoulders back, retract those shoulders, tuck the toes under, and then as you inhale, drop the belly down, lift the heart up for that cow pose. On our exhale, tops of our feet onto the mat, dome your spine, grip into the earth as you cat it up. Inhale, cow pose, shoulders back, soften of the elbows, retraction. Exhale, doming your spine, protract out of your back. One more round, inhale, cow pose. And then exhale to cat it back up. And then on your next breath in, find a neutral spine. As you find that neutral spine, bring those knees close to one another. Tuck your right toes under, and as you inhale, extend that left leg behind you. As your left leg goes behind you, you're slowly gonna walk your um, left hand just a little bit closer towards the middle of the mat for stability. Press through that palm, grip into your finger pads, and then inhale, extend and straighten that right arm towards the front of the room. Take a breath in, flexing those left toes. And now as you exhale, point the toes, pull the elbow and the knee in towards mid space. Modification, you'll release your palm down to the mat instead. Exhale, cat it back up. Inhale, long arm, long leg. Exhale, pull it all back in. On your next breath in, extend the arm and the leg. And as you exhale, drop your right palm down, step your left foot to the right side. Exhale, looking over your right shoulder, pressing that left hip over towards the left side. A breath in and a breath out. On your next inhale, looking towards the front of the mat, slide that left foot behind you, hook your right toes to the right side and then begin to peel the heart open coming into side plank. As you come into side plank on this knee, on your right knee, reach and extend your arm directly up towards the sky. Wrap the ribs around and take a full breath in. As you take your next breath in, extend and lift that left leg off the earth, flexing your foot. Then go ahead and point those toes. And as you exhale, curl the heel in towards your body or draw the knee in towards your chest, slide your hand down so that you can connect with that ankle or the top of the foot. A full breath in as the kneecap reaches away from the body and the shoulder blades retract towards one another. Let that breath go when you're ready. One more inhale. 
And then that exhale on your next breath in, release, extending the arm and the leg, dropping the blade of the foot down, sweeping your hand down, rotating your hips to point back towards the ground. Lift that left foot once more, bend that left knee and trace a few circles in one direction and then the opposite direction. Go ahead and lower your knee back down to the mat, sending the weight of the body back, not child's pose, but a teaser. We're taking three rounds of roller coaster cat cows, or if your preference is traditional cat cows, and stay on all fours. As you inhale, bend those elbows, slither your heart forward, let your body wrap those elbows around itself. Exhale, doming your spine, catting it back. Two more. Inhale, elbows are parallel so they don't splay out. Exhale, the hips go back. Once more, inhale, cow pose, drag and lift. Exhale, rolling it back on our next breath in, we come back into tabletop. As we work our way back into tabletop, the knees come together, we'll tuck the left toes under this time, and we'll inhale, extend that right leg behind us. Draw the core up and in, feel strength through your entire body. Slide that right hand a little closer towards the center of the mat, and then extend that left arm forward. Shoulders are away from your ears, you're completely strengthened here. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, draw the elbow and the knee in towards your heart. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, you reach long. And exhale, you draw it back in. Inhale, we'll extend for the last time. And then we'll release that left palm down. Step our right foot to the left side of the mat. Exhale, looking over our left shoulder, press that right hip towards the right edge of the room. Take another full breath in here. Let that breath go. On our inhale, we'll take our gaze to the top of our mat. We'll slide our right foot behind us, hooking the left toes to the left edge and then that side plank as you extend and lift your right arm up towards the sky. Press through the pinky side blade, pull the shoulders away from yours. Another breath here. Let that breath go. Now, if you'd like, extend and lift this right leg off the mat. Find your stability by allowing the shoulder to be in line with the wrist versus collapsing. Pointing the toes, curl the heel in towards your body or knee in towards the chest as you slide and grab the ankle or around the top of your foot. Bow your heart out, but as you bow your heart out, you're pulling the ribs together. So you're wrapping muscle around bone, finding that connection. Take a breath here. Let that breath go. Last time, breath in and then breath out. On your next inhale, release, extend the arm and the leg. Blade of your foot goes down. Sweep that left right hand around, rotate your hips to point forward, lift and float right leg, bend the right knee to the right side and trace those circles once more in each direction. Work your way back to center, letting your knees come back into that tabletop position. Tucking the toes under, slide the hips back, lift your knees up and then exhale, let your body arrive in that inverted V or downward facing dog. Begin to march or paddle your feet out. As you work those heels back and forth, maybe you even pause and look underneath the armpits if that feels good on your neck, your shoulders. Take a breath in, let that breath go and now find stillness. Your feet are in line with your hips so you're about hip width distance apart, not further, not um, shorter. Press the finger pads into the mat, create a little suction cup with your palms, hollow out your armpits so you're rotating those biceps inwards, flattening your back. Draw full breath in here. Head is heavy, shoulders draw back. Let that breath go. One more, inhaling through the nose and exhale to release that breath. On your next breath in, lifting your heels, bending your knees, look forward, begin to walk or step your feet in between those thumbs as you exhale for a forward fold. You also have the option of walking your hands towards your feet instead. Inhale, you'll rise up halfway, a flat back. Exhale, you'll release and lower down. Step your feet as wide as you'd like for ragdoll and grab those elbows. Let your head dangle as you wrap and swing from right side of the mat to left side of the mat. Press through the pinky side blades of your feet. Feel that link through your hamstring as you draw your tailbone up and as you bow your chest down. Another full breath in here. Let that breath go. And then work your way back to center. Your hands come down to the mat, bending the knees as much as you need to. Walk your feet back towards hip width distance or in alignment with your hip points. And as we inhale, we'll drag those arms to the sides as we circle sweep those arms up towards the sky. Palms are going to kiss over our head and we'll exhale, bring those hands into prayer and at heart space. Inhale, pull your shoulders up. Exhale, roll your shoulders down. Inhale, circle sweep those arms up towards the sky. Exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. 
ribs stay intact. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Lowering your fingertips down to the mat. Step back with that left foot. Drop that left knee down to the mat. Top of the left foot on the earth. Inhale, rise up for low lunge. From that low lunge, shoulders away from your ears. Draw a breath in. And as you exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. Hug your right hip back. Send that left hip forward. Inhale, those arms reach directly up. Exhale, your hands come down to frame that right foot. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. Press the weight of the body through that left heel and then inhale, stabilize through your right hand and lift up towards the sky. A full belly breath in. And then exhale, sweep that right hand down, return it to the earth, plant the palms down. Step your right foot back as you exhale into downward facing dog or that inverted V. Draw a breath in, find stillness. Let that breath go here in downward facing dog. On your inhale, lift the heels, roll the vertebrae forward. You're in plank pose. You're on the very tips of the toes or the balls of your feet. The knees can release down to the mat. The elbows hug the side body and we'll exhale, lower all the way down. Take your hands out beyond your mat. Pull your elbows in so that you have arms that look like spider legs. And if your back is tight and tender, take your legs out wide. Otherwise, keep them narrow. On an inhale, lift your chest up directly up. Look forward. Exhale, lower your chest back down. Inhale, lift that chest back up. The shoulders are away from your ears. As you exhale, that right shoulder goes to the middle of the mat and you look over to the left side. A breath in here and a breath out here. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, now your left shoulder dips down to the center and you look over towards that right side. Another breath here and release that breath here. On our next inhale, we'll work our way back to center. And as we exhale, we'll release the frame down to the earth. Lift your fingers off the mat, a few circles or maybe a couple of starfish with your little hands. Bring those palms back down to your breastbone. Pull your elbows in tight. Shift the weight of the body back or the elbow heads back. Tuck the toes and either plank on or off the knees to exhale, downward facing dog. From that downward facing dog, draw a breath in. Letting that breath go. On our next inhale, lifting the heels, bending those knees, either looking forward to walk or step, or if you want to take a little hop, 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 work your way to the top of the mat or back of the mat if you need to. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, melt it all the way back down. Inhale, bending those knees, reverse and rise all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, heads of your elbows are going to pull down. You expose your heart, but you bring the ribs together. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Lower the palms down to the mat. Step back with your right foot. Drop the right knee down, top of the foot on the earth, and then inhale, low lunge. Lift up when you're stable. Draw a breath in here. And as you exhale, pull the heads of your elbows down as you lunge forward. Send your left hip back, pull that right hip forward so they're in line. Then inhale, those arms reach up. Exhale, the hands come down to frame that left foot. Tucking the back toes, lifting that right knee. Anchor through your right fingertips and then inhale, extend and lift that left arm up towards the sky. Shoulders away from your ears, pushing and reaching through that back heel. Exhale, release the hand down. Take your right left foot, step it back to meet that right one as you exhale into downward facing dog. Draw a breath in here. Let that breath go. Take another full breath in and let that breath go. On your next inhale, lifting your heels, roll your vertebrae forward, plank pose. You're strong through the core, elbows pull in. On or off your knees, exhale, brush the side body as you lower your frame down. Keep your hands close to your breastbone, align your nose, your forehead, and your chin into the spine. Pull the elbows in if they splayed out and then inhale, rise up for a little baby cobra. Float the hands off the earth, shift the elbow heads back, reach through your crown. Don't look too far forward to cause cre um, damage to the neck though. Exhale, lower the weight of the body back down, palms to your breastbone, thighs together, tucking the toes, plank on or off those knees to exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in here. Let that breath go. Take another full breath in and let that breath go. On our next inhale, we'll extend and lift that left leg up towards the sky, bending the knee and stacking hip over hip. Trace a few circles with your left knee in one direction and then the opposite direction. And then as you inhale, return back into three-legged dog extension. Lift that back thigh up off the sky. There you go, up towards the sky. One breath in. 
And as you exhale, tuck this left knee in towards your chest, lift the right heel nice and high, look forward, step your foot in between your thumbs. If you can't reach, don't force it. Instead, step where you can, grab the calf as you slide it in between your thumbs. Spin your back foot into warrior two position, so perpendicular to the back edge of your mat, and then inhale, cartwheel, and rise all the way up. Settle into the space, extend your arms actively, feel your hips sit low, press through the back leg, it's strong. Full belly breath in, looking just beyond your peace fingers, and that breath out. Back hand down, flip that left palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Gently rotate that right shoulder towards the sky, Pull the left shoulder away from your ear. One more inhale here. And then as we exhale, we'll bring the forearm on this left side to the left thigh. If your knee collapsed, pull the knee back into hip place. Let that forearm rest and inhale, extend and lift the right arm up. If your right arm is way back, just reach directly up. Look anywhere it feels right for you. Take a breath in here. Let that breath go. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Cartwheel or trace your palms back. And then exhale, cartwheel those hands to frame that front foot. You're lifting or you're on the ball of your right foot. Draw a breath in. Looking forward, let that breath go. On your next inhale, walk your hands a foot forward. Lift that right leg off the mat and come into a standing split. Naturally, the hip wants to open, but drop that hip down. Pull that left femur into the hip socket. Engage your core here. Breath in. Flexing your foot and then exhale, bowing your chest down as much as your body permits. Magnetize this right thigh up towards the sky. Now a little balance challenge here. Take your left hand, wrap it around this left leg. Leave your right fingertips down for a moment. If this is too much, go ahead and return your left hand back down to the mat. One more balance challenge. Can you bring the right fingertips around that left ankle as well? Maybe it's a nanosecond. Maybe it's a back and forth. But whatever works for you, find stability. One more breath in and that breath out. If your hands are around your ankle, fingertips come back down towards the mat. Go ahead and inhale, lift up halfway. Pull this right knee into your chest. Pause here. Step the foot down. Drop the hips low as you exhale. And then inhale, rise up for chair. As you rise up for chair, the palms come together. The hands come into prayer and at our heart space. Draw a breath in. Send the weight of the body back so your knees are further back. Beautiful. That's it. Take a breath in. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt it down. Inhale, reverse and rise, sweeping those arms to the sides, up to the sky. Exhale, heads of our elbows pull down. Inhale, our arms reach up. On our exhale, our hands come forward. As the arms reach forward, drop the shoulders away from your ears. Anchor through that left foot. Inhale, lift that right leg up. As you lift that right leg up, wrap your hands either around the shin bone. Try not to lose your balance. <laughs> or around the hamstring, either or. Once you find your stability, can you extend and release those arms out? Can you take a little twist, bringing this left hand towards this right thigh? bringing your right hand to your right hip and looking over the shoulder. Or maybe for you, you're just staying right here in this tall stance. Breathe in, strong, strong, strong through this left thigh and breathe out. One more breath in, flex the right foot, let that breath go. Inhale, return to center, those palms come into prayer. And then as we exhale, we're gonna slowly begin to kick that back leg into warrior three. You've got it. Lift and magnetize that right thigh up once more. Full belly breath in. And then as we exhale, standing split. As you come into that standing split, step your right foot back as that right foot goes back. Inhale, extend and lift that left arm up towards the sky. Stretch that left glute nice and wide. Full inhale. And then exhale, palm comes down. Stepping that left foot to the back of the mat, you'll lift for three-legged dog. Draw breath in. Let that breath go and then inhale. Roll your way into plank pose with the floating leg or not on or off those knees, elbows in. Exhale, we lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, we lift up for cobra, baby cobra. Maybe you're ready for upward facing dog, but do not or do your best not to collapse shoulders in towards the ears. Lift up, be proud. One more breath here. Curl those toes, lift those hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Draw a full breath in here. 
Let that breath go. If you need to come into child's pose, drop those knees down, slide the hips back, and then you can meet us back in downward facing dog. Otherwise, stay here. Breath in, breath out. You've got one more. Let that breath go. On our next inhale, lifting the heels, bending those knees, working your way into a forward fold, whether you walk, step, or hop, hop, hop. Exhale at the top of your fold or to the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, melt it all the way down. And then inhale, reverse and lift. Sweep those arms up to the sky. Exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. Inhale, those arms reach up. And then exhale, forward fold. Lower your palms down to the mat. The option to step back right foot, left foot, or the option to bend the knees, keep the hips up, plant those palms, shift the weight of the body forward. So now you're floating those heels off the mat and you're hopping back into what is known as low plank or chaturanga. Inhale, rise up for your cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, tilt those hips up for downward facing dog. Draw breath in here, hollow out those armpits. Let that breath go. Give grace to yourself, come back to the breath, come back to that intention. One more inhale here and one last exhale here. On our next inhale, we'll extend and lift that right leg up towards the sky. Bending the knee and stacking the hip over towards that left side. Press your heart towards your thigh regardless of the stack. Couple of circles with this right knee in one direction, creating synovial fluid cushion for the joint and then opposite direction. Inhale, come back into three-legged dog. And as we exhale, pull that right knee in towards your chest. Look forward, lift the left heel. Step the foot in between the thumb. Remember, assisted if necessary. Once you get there, spin your back blade so it's 85 to 90 degree angle. And then inhale with stability. You rise up into your warrior two. As you rise up into warrior two, your gaze is just beyond your peace fingers on your right hand. So if you're looking towards your screen and your hips are pointing towards the screen, just turn your gaze over, settle into the space, draw a breath in, hip is strong. Let that breath go. Back hand down, flip that right palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Unlock or pull that right shoulder away from your ear. Gently rotate that left one towards the sky. One more inhale. And then exhale, extended side angle, forearm on the thigh, square and open up the heart, extend and lift the left arm up. Stay strong through your back blade, a big belly breath in, and that big belly breath out. On your next inhale, reverse the warrior, trace those palms back. And then exhale, we'll all carwheel our hands to frame that front foot. Pause there for a moment. As you pause there for a moment, walk your hands a foot forward, lift and float your left leg off the ground for that standing split. Take a breath in, and then exhale, melt it down. Make sure you're strong through your right femur. So pull the femur up, feel the core get engaged. Magnetize the left thigh up as you flex the left foot. If you're pointing your toes, you'll get a different sensation. So flex the toes, point them down. Big toe is soft, even though it's flexed. Try that embracing of the ankle again. Maybe it's one hand, maybe it's both hands, maybe this side is neither. Regardless, you're looking at your right kneecap. You're breathing in through your nose. You're feeling your belly expand. And as you exhale, you're feeling that decompression. If your hands are around your ankle, go ahead and release. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, let that breath go. On your next breath in, rising up halfway, a soft bend in this right knee. Pull and exhale that left knee into your chest. Step that left foot there, breath in. And as you exhale, bend those knees, sit the hips low, and then inhale, rise up into chair. If you rise up into chair, slide the weight of the body back, extend the hips heavier towards the back end, toes have little to no weight on them. Big breath in. Nice work, palms together, exhale, hands come into prayer and at your heart space. Breath in, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, melt it down. And then inhale, reverse and rise, sweeping those arms out to the sides, up to the sky, a breath in. And as you exhale, the elbows pull down. Inhale, the arms reach up. And as we exhale, we'll release our hands down to our sides. Stabilize through your right foot. And then inhale, lift that left foot up. Either interlace your hands around the shin bone, find that stability, or hands wrap around the hamstring or none at all. There's more core strength if you're not holding on to the leg, but if you need to hold on to it, find your stable spot. 
find your drishti or that point that keeps you focused. Something that's not moving preferably. When you're ready, those arms reach up if you can. And then we'll take the soft twist. So you'll bring this right hand towards this left thigh. Notice you don't wanna pull the knee over. You wanna keep that hip in line. Bring that left hand to your hip. This may be all you do today. This may be where you're at today. Or you can exhale and look over the shoulder. Draw the ribs towards one another as the shoulders relax away from your ears. Full inhale here. Full exhale. One more, big breath in and a big breath out. On your next breath in, stay strong through this right foot. Come back to center. The palms come into prayer and at heart space. We'll begin to take that warrior three as we bow our heart forward and extend the back leg out. So this left leg is out floating. The heel is reaching up. You're strong through your right femur. One more breath in here. And then exhale that standing split. As you come into your standing split, just let it droop. Breath in, modification, toes fall down. Breath out. One more inhale and that exhale. On your next breath in, lift the heart halfway. Bend your right knee, step that left foot back. Slide the right foot to the back for three-legged dog. And let that breath go here in three-legged dog. One more. And then either exhale, rolling into plank or dropping the toes down, coming into plank. On or off those knees, elbows in, crown forward. Exhale, we lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, we lift up for cobra or our upward facing dog. Upward facing dog is palms on the mat, thighs off the mat, tops of your feet on the mat. One more inhale here. And then tuck those toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and release your knees to the mat and give grace, give thanks for ease in the body as you work your way into child's pose. Take a full breath in, let that breath go. Take another breath in and open mouth side, let it go. Take that third one. Maybe now it's even longer in length and you sigh it out. Letting yourself be here at ease, maybe massaging the space between those eyebrows as you rock your head right side to left side or you bend those elbows and stack the arms on top of one another, whatever feels the most comforting in your body this morning. It's always about how you feel. What I say is simply a suggestion and you will honor that all the time. I suggest and you do what feels right. Breath in and a breath out. Go ahead and extend those arms towards the top. As we inhale, we'll all come back into that tabletop position. As we work our way into tabletop position, we can shimmy our hips from one side of the mat to the opposite side. And then we'll work our way back into stillness, tucking our toes, lifting our knees, and exhaling into that downward facing dog. So we come into downward facing dog, lifting the heels, bending your knees, looking forward, either walk, step, hop, or if you prefer, allowing yourself to walk your hands towards the back as you exhale for forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, melt it all the way back down. Inhale, reverse and rise. Sweep those arms to the sides, up to the sky. Our palms will kiss. And as we exhale, our hands come into prayer and at our heart space. Draw a breath in here. Let that breath go. Let your arms rest to your side. And as those arms rest to your side, one more balance here. So stabilize through your left side. So what I mean when I say stabilize is you have to feel the femur stay engaged into the hip socket. Otherwise it gets squishy and wobbly and that's not a good position because then our hips hurt. So stabilize as you engage the quad or pull the kneecap up without hyperextending the knee. So once you have that stability there, you're gonna go ahead and inhale, lift that right leg up. So you shift it all the way towards that left side. Take a breath in here. As we exhale, our hands are going to come into prayer. We're flexing that left foot and we're, excuse me, right foot. And now that right knee is turning out towards the right side. Bend your left knee, connect the um, ankle onto that left quad, and then you'll exhale, figure four chair. If you need a modify, chair pose. Whichever feels best for you, feel the hip open up, slide the weight of the body back, breath in. 
Get deep into the glute if you'd like by lowering down even more or fingertips can release to the mat or even your blocks. Find your focal spot, drop the shoulders back, pull the sternum. There you go, zip it all up like you've just stepped into a scuba diving costume and it's zipping you up. Breath in and that breath out. If your fingertips are down on the mat, inhale, begin to lift and rise up. As we lift and rise up, straighten that left leg, pull that right knee into your chest. You're gonna take half star, feel strong. You got this, half star, arms out, leg out. Hold here in star pose. And then as we exhale, we're gonna cross this right leg over, exhale, left, that left hip, get some love as you grab that left wrist with your right hand. Draw a breath in, let that breath go. Hands at the hip as well if your, your shoulders are really tight. One more inhale and that exhale. Then inhale, we come back to center, the hands release to our sides. We'll release and step that right foot, giving that left foot even a little bit more love. Wiggle, swish, sway, whatever you need. Opposite side. Stabilize through that right leg. Feel everything lift up. It's almost like you've just zipped your body up. Strong quad. So don't hyperextend your knee. I can't stress that enough. I've had so many injuries. I just don't want that to be you. <laughs> so stabilizing. Strong through the oblique. So you're feeling them pull. That hip flexor is tough. And then only when you're ready, exhale, lift that left leg up. If you want to hold on to the left leg, hold on to that left leg. If you want to stay in chair pose, stay in chair pose when you're ready, though. We're going to make our way into figure four. So that figure four is flexing the left foot to protect our knee, crossing the ankle onto that right quad. Maybe you stay right here. This is enough for you. Otherwise, palms together. And as we exhale, sit the hips back. You'll feel it. If your glutes, your piriformis is tight, you're going to feel that right back here. Fingertips can release to the ground. If you have a wall that you can come to, your couch, this is a great position for you to modify. So there's no incorrect way unless it's hurting. If it's strenuous because it's just hard, then that's one thing. But if it's strenuous with pain, that's what we don't want. Take a breath in. Spread your right toes wide. Maybe your leg is shaking like mine. One more inhale. One last exhale. If your fingertips are down, inhale, we rise up. As we rise up, release. Bring that left knee in towards your body. You've got half star. Half star, you got it. You can even step the toes down. It doesn't matter as long as it feels right for you. Inhale, half star. Strong, strong, strong. Your kneecap points towards the camera or towards your screen. And then when you're ready, exhale, cross that left foot over towards the right side. Inhale, the arms reach up, grab that right wrist. Exhale, sweep over towards that left side. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, the hands down to our sides. Stabilize the hips, release that left foot to the left side. Lift your right ankle, rock and roll it back and forth. And then you'll find your way if you've moved back to the top of your mat. As you come to the top of your mat, inhale, circle sweep those arms up. Exhale, heads of your elbows pull down, ribs together. Inhale, those arms reach up. And then exhale, forward fold. Lowering the palms down to the mat. You're not stepping back yet. Instead of stepping back in this forward fold, I want you to step that right foot out towards the right edge of your mat, left foot out towards that left edge of your mat. Bring your bum low, sit into malasana or that yogi squat. Drop the hips as low as you need to. If you have a couch nearby, a chair, and you need to use that, use that. If you have blocks and you need an anchor, or if you need to be up a little higher, that's okay. But if you do get down, lift your chest up. That's probably the hardest part is getting that chest to lift up. If you've ever been at a playground and you watch kids play, this is so seamless, so fluid for them. We've just gotten accustomed in our lifestyle of not having that ability to release our hips, unlike children. So we'll work towards that. Not necessarily going to master it, but we'll give it a go. Breath in here. Breath out. One more. And then when you're ready, fingertips release. Legs start to lengthen. Hips start to reach up. And you'll exhale here. Fingertips on the earth. Lift up halfway as you breathe in. Heel toe your feet all the way back towards one another. And then from here, either stepping right foot, left foot, or bending those knees. Palms down to the mat, shifting the weight. Last time you hop back, 
or step back into your plank. From our plank pose, we'll exhale all the way or halfway. And then we'll inhale, rise up cobra or upward facing dog. And then we'll exhale, lower our frame down or take that plank to downward facing dog. Whichever you prefer, we are meeting in child's pose. So on those knees, hips back, knees wide, let that breath go. Draw a breath in here. Let that breath go. Let your head rest on the mat or stack the hands once more. Feel the air entering your body, your life force. Feel it releasing. Maybe you've released any stressors, any to-do lists that truly really could wait. So give yourself a little bit of hugs and kudos for that if that was a possibility for you today. One more inhale. And then we'll exhale. We'll all begin to lift and rise up into our tabletop, working our hips to one side, sweeping our legs forward so that we come into a seated position. As we come into our seated position, we'll take Navasana or that boat pose. So when you're ready, boat can be many, 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 many places. I want you to find what feels right for you. So align the knees, the hips, and the ankles with your body. Lift your chest up, pull your shoulders down. Maybe the fingertips stay down. Maybe the fingertips lift up. Perhaps you lean your body back and you float those toes off the ground. You're still lifting through your chest. You're still grounded through the sits bones. Draw a breath in, let that breath go. Now we're gonna take three low boats and three high boats. So on that inhale, low boat. On your exhale, high boat. And your toes can stay anchored. Inhale, low, exhale, high. Last one, inhale, low, exhale, high. And then knees into your chest, let yourself roll into your vertebrae until you're on your back completely. Knees stay tucked in towards the body. You can place the hands on the kneecaps or shin bones and trace circles in one direction. Um, circles in the opposite direction, or if you prefer, drop the soles of the feet down and windshield wiper right side to left side. Work your way back to center. If you have your knees tucked in towards your chest, lower them down to the mat. If your feet were already on the mat, setting up for bridge. So those palms come down to our sides. As our palms come down to our sides, we're aligning the heels with our knees. So you're not forcing, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not forcing the heels towards your glute because then that creates tension. <clears throat> All on your breath and time, belly is tight. It's almost like there's a weight on your abdomen and your ribs have pulled in. You'll inhale, press through the soles of the feet, press through those palms. I want you to bring your hands to your low back or your glutes, lift the hips up with the hands. This creates the shoulder blades walking in or the shoulders. And then from here, you can release those palms down. Take a breath here as you squeeze the glutes as you feel your body strong. And as you exhale, slide the shoulders out, begin to roll your back down to the mat. Separate your feet if you need. Knees can kiss, and then you can rock side to side. We'll set up for two more. Heel toe the feet back towards center. Rest the back on the mat. Press the palms into the earth, and inhale, we lift up. If you want to take that same action where you gently guide the hips up with your arms so that you can slide your shoulders inward, you can. And if you want to interlace the hands this time underneath your body, you can, or they can just stay up. If you need a little more strength and you want a little more balance, go ahead and lift for me your right leg off the ground. Squeeze that left glute, lift the right toes. One more breath in and then exhale, drop it down. Switch it out. If you're still up, one more breath in, extend and lift that left leg up. Point or flex your toes, strong through your right glute. Chin is away from the chest. Last breath in and then exhale. We release foot and our back. Slide the shoulders out, decompress your low spine. Coming back to center. We'll set up for that final bridge pose <clears throat> as you come to that final bridge pose. And if you prefer no bridge, you can bring your legs up, directly up, more for that waterfall if that's where you'd like to go. Otherwise, set up for that final bridge, press and inhale, lift up. Hands can come to the glutes. Interlace, and if you do interlace the opposite way, 
So instead of left thumb over right, maybe it's right thumb over left. One more inhale here. Quads are strong, thighs are activated. And then we'll exhale, release. Separating those legs if you need to, stillness or windshield wiper. Breath in and breath out. Heel toe your feet back towards one another. And as you heel toe those feet back towards one another, find comfort in your frame. We'll all inhale, tuck the knees, inhale, lift the legs up, and then exhale, tuck those knees in towards our body. When your breath, your time, extend the legs up for waterfall. If you were already there, maybe this is where you return. Maybe wiggle the ankles or the toes. I generally prefer to teach shoulder stand when I can actually see everybody, but um, I will guide it. <clears throat> Please be mindful of your neck, especially that cervical spine, which is just around, you know, right below the base of your skull. So if there's anything going on with your shoulders, your neck, um, throat issues, then please don't attempt this. Just stay right here or come into happy baby. But if you'd like to attempt shoulder stand, as long as you're only looking up at your own body, it's like being in school. You're taking a test and it's your own paper that you keep your eyes on. Your palms come to your side. You might need to lower your heels just a couple of inches so that you can lift with core strength and extend your legs up towards the sky. Your hands wrap around your hip points and they can walk towards the small of the back and then they can walk to where mid back would be. Your toes can be flexed or pointed. You have created a ton of space between your chest and your chin so you haven't collapsed there. You're breathing in, those elbows tuck in, you're breathing out. If you're happy here, stay here. If you need a little bit more, you can continue to look at your own knees and then walk your right foot and left foot behind you. The toes might hover, the toes might anchor. Neither is incorrect unless it hurts your back or it hurts your neck. Again, please don't do this unless you're looking at your own legs and you don't have any issues going on with your back, your shoulders, your neck. One more inhale and exhale. If your legs were behind you, Slowly begin to lift them, bend those knees in towards your body. Support your frame as you roll all the way down. Keep the chin close to the chest. And then once you release your low back, drop your head, let those legs rest. You're welcome to stay right here in stillness, just letting everything release and settle. And let that breath go. If you're ready and your back feels good, you can come into happy baby by guiding right knee and left knee towards the armpits and grabbing the blades of your feet. If you'd like to take any fun movements here in happy baby, you can extend those legs out to a check mark or a solid V. It can be a large wide V or it can be a narrow V. Whatever feels good in you. If, if you wanna bring the soles of the feet together, bring the soles of the feet together. Breathe in and breathe out. We've got just another breath here and that breath out. You'll release your happy baby, letting those knees come back towards center, lowering the soles of your feet down. We'll inhale those legs long, take that big good morning stretch as the arms reach over our head and you might even arch your spine if you'd like. And then you'll exhale, slide those palms down to your sides, release the back onto the mat. Bending the knees will take figure four. So now you get to do figure four on your back versus on one leg. So extend and lift your right leg, cross the ankle over to the left quad. You've got that formation where that <clears throat> gravity is dropping the right knee down. And now we're gonna lift the left leg and thread our needle. So when you thread the needle, if you're able to take that right hand in between the triangle window, and then the left hand goes on the outside edge. If this is not for you today, then you might wanna just leave the sole of your left foot down. This may be enough. Whatever you do though, make sure you're breathing, the tailbone is dropping down and you're gently guiding this left knee in towards your heart. Just another two inhales here. And that last inhale here, letting that breath go. Releasing your bind, you'll extend and reach that right leg up towards the sky, a couple of circles with your ankle if you'd like. 
and then knee bends in and you'll extend that right leg nice and long just to gain that length through the hip flexor. Bend that right knee when you're ready, left leg goes up towards the sky, cross that left ankle over, thread the needle all on your breath and time. Beautiful job. Thank you for sharing your screen with me and allowing me to see what's going on. <laughs> And if today you don't want to share your screen, you absolutely have that right. <laughs> so don't, don't feel it's necessary. You got to do you. You got to be you. Continue breathing in and out of the nose. Remember all those small modifications. So if it's too much for you, foot down. If it's not enough for you, maybe you need to find a slightly different variation with this um, left ankle. We've got one more inhale here and that exhale here. On your breath, your time, you'll release, allowing the sole of that left foot to come down and then, excuse me, right foot, and then inhale, left leg goes up, a few circles with this left ankle in one direction then the opposite. And then as you exhale, that left heel goes down as you extend and lengthen through the hip flexor on this left side. Breath in, breath out. And now we'll slowly begin to lift and bend that left knee to meet the right. You're welcome to windshield wiper those legs right side to left side. Cactus or tee your arm. If there's something you're still missing, you're craving, by all means, please guide yourself there. However, we are finalizing our practice by taking supine twists. So as you cactus or tee those arms, you may want to either just slide your hips over towards the left edge of the room and drop the knees to the right, or you might want to lift feet off the mat, coming into a 90 degree angle, and then you'll exhale, release and lower those knees towards the right side. I always love to come into fetal position and some of you may not, and if you don't, that's okay. But as you rest your body in fetal position to the right, I like to extend and trace a big halo over my head with my left fingertips until I'm able to relax and release my left shoulder down to the mat. If you need a little bit more, your right hand can anchor the left hip your right hand can anchor the knee. Your right hand can grab the left foot and you can extend the leg out towards that right side. Breath in, breath out. If your hip flexor, your quad needs a little more love, you can even curl this right heel towards your left hand and hold on to it. We've got just one more inhale though. And that exhale. Looking back up towards the sky, if you're looking to the left, release whatever part of your body you're holding, bringing those knees back to center. Set up when you're ready for the opposite side. Hips can shift, knees can lift, but you'll exhale, drop those knees over towards the left side, fetal position or not, halo or not, you'll open your heart, you'll gaze to the right. When you're back, your neck feel comfortable. Incorporate and add anything else that you like here by either grabbing the leg, right leg with that left hand, or even cat's tail curling the left leg towards your right hand. Another inhale here, and that exhale here. With your eyes closed, if they're already closed, turn the gaze up towards the sky. Bring those knees back towards center, lowering the soles of the feet down, align your hips, align your back and vertebrae. Knees can windshield wipe or side to side, and we'll go ahead and exhale, tuck those knees in towards our body, take our arms, either wrapping them around our heels, our hamstrings, or shin bones. We'll bring ourselves into a tight, tight ball, squeezing every fiber of our being, activate every muscle, and then inhale, relax, release, and as you exhale, find that final resting place known as corpse pose or shavasana. Heels to the corners of your mat, arms to your sides, palms up to receive or accept, and palms down if you prefer to absorb or ground. Breath in through the nose. And that big release out of the mouth. <sighs> Let your breath be soft, natural, and unlabored. Take this time, this moment for yourself. You gifted this class this dedication to you. Enjoy these last moments of rest, of nourishment, 
and connection of mind, body, and spirit. As thoughts enter into the mind, acknowledge them and just let them be. Let yourself find slumber and peace where you're at. In awareness to your space, to your physical presence, begin by drawing that full breath into your nose. And with love, with joy and gratitude, you'll exhale, sigh that breath out. Keeping your eyes closed, begin to wiggle your fingertips, your toes, and your wrists and ankles. And invite gentle movement back into the neck as you awaken and realign it by moving your head right side to left side. As you draw your next breath in, take that big good morning stretch. And as you exhale, maybe give yourself another hug as you draw those knees in towards your chest. Let yourself roll over to fetal position to your right side, using your left hand to guide you and letting yourself arrive in a comfortable seated position facing anywhere you'd like. As you rise up, the palms can come into prayer and at your heart space, eyes closed if possible. We'll all draw breath in together. And as you exhale, sigh that breath out. We bow to each other, we bow to our journey, and most of all, we bow to ourselves. The divine in me salutes, honors, and acknowledges the divine love and light in each of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my day and one another's day. May you have a beautiful day from my heart to yours.